<coughs> Good morning, church. If you have your Bibles, please turn with me to Genesis chapter 35 and verse 1. Then God said to Jacob, Go up to the Bethel and settle there, and build an altar there to God, who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. So Jacob said to his household and to all who were with him, Get rid of the foreign gods you can have with you, and purify yourself and change your clothes. Then come, let us go up to the Bethel, where I will build your, where I will build an altar to God who answered me in the day of my distress and who has been with me wherever I have gone. Three days back, three days back we have, we came to the end of 2020, the woeful year. Many of us might have asked challenging questions of God. Questions that are anything but trivial, such as, why did God allow the COVID pandemic to happen? Why did the Lord take my loved one away this year? Where did is God's army so much of tension and unrest? Friends, this list goes on. Looking for answers in difficult circumstances is not exclusive to 2020. In today's passage, Jacob was in a similar situation, of course. Times are certainly different than they were then. Jacob recently left his job with his father-in-law and he was reconciled with his brother after 20 years, had his and his daughter has been raped and his sons have been just massacred the entire town of Shechem. Now, in the midst of these circumstances, notice what happens. Then God said to Jacob, one more time, <clears throat> God appeared to Jacob in his time of greatest weakness and failure and instructs him to return to Bethel. Go up to the Bethel and settle there and build an altar there to God who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother Esau. Friends, to understand this passage, we must go back to 30 years to the time when Jacob first went to Bethel. At that time, he was fleeing for his life. His brother Esau was after him to murder him. Jacob was a fugitive, a runaway. That first night away from home, Jacob spent at Bethel. When he reached certain place, he stopped for the night because the sun has set taking one of the stones. There he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. Outside the town, on a hillside stone with rocks and boulders, Jacob made his bed. And in the gathering darkness, Jacob rests his head upon a large flat stone. It is in this setting that Jacob dreams a stairway to heaven. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with his top reaching to heaven and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. Friends, just imagine that scene. Jacob at the bottom, God at the top, a stairway filled with angels. <clears throat> just, just friends, just imagine that scene. Jacob at the bottom, God at the top, and stairway filled with angels in between. By the way, in the end of the verse, you see, a very interesting phrase. The angels of God were ascending and descending on it. I mean, really, it ought to read, the angels were descending and ascending on it. But the record does not read that way. It states that the angels were ascending and descending. What does that mean? God is telling Jacob that he would answer. The ascending angel is the prayer. 
and the descending angel is the answer god is telling jacob that he would answer the prayer god is telling jacob that he would answer the prayer answer the prayer see during the earthly ministry jesus references this scene i tell you the truth you shall see heaven open and the angels of god ascending and descending on the son of man in other in other words jesus is saying i am the stairway that connects god to humanity so it is at bethel that jacob had his first real encounter with god it was at bethel that jacob was first told about god's plan to bless jacob and his family it was at bethel that jacob first built a monument to the lord so back to bethel back to our lesson back to the bethel so it is back to bethel that jacob is told to go go up to bethel and settle there and build an altar there to god who appeared to you when you were fleeing from your brother esau god called jacob back to bethel back to a fresh start a new era god speaks to jacob at the moment of his desperation jacob did not seek god he did not ask god for help and yet god comes to jacob to manifest his grace so what is jacob's response to the god who revealed himself what is jacob's response to the god who sought him out verse 2 jacob heard the call of god and jacob said to his household see jacob heard the call of god and extended it to his household now look at the three things that jacob responds in verse 2 so jacob said said to his household get get rid of the foreign gods you have with you and purify yourself and change your clothes now notice what they have to do the first thing they had to do was they had to do was bury their ideals they had to bury their former ways of living and thinking friends it is easy to think that we don't have a problem with ideals today but if that is what you think you are wrong anything that takes your attention away from god anything that causes you to give less devotion and worship to god anything that has more influence in your life than god does is an idol now notice the second thing required of jacob and his family purify yourself true purity of heart flows out of the life changing power of christ and his spirit then and only then do we have a beginning in putting aside our idols and the sin that so easily entangles us now notice the final and the third thing required of jacob and his family they needed to change their clothes their dirty clothing was symbolic of their life life of sin and deceit so our hearts needs to be changed our spirit needs to be purified and notice finally very tense then then come let us go to bethel where i built an altar where i built an altar to god who answered me in the day of my distress and who has been with me wherever i has gone it's now finally very tense it ends with worship god calls and hearts are renewed idols are removed clothing is changed and finally we are fit for worship and that is really what worship is about god friends notice what seems to be the most tragic and confusion situation for jacob was just the the beginning of an a wonderful solution we see him engaged in a moving act of worship verse 14 jacob set up a stone pillar to the at the place where god has talked with him and he poured out a drink offering on it he also poured oil on it oil on it friends god considers our 
worship of him the most important thing we can do god considers our worship of him the most important thing we can do true worship is being lost in wonder with god true worship is really not about us it is about god worship forces us to stop and remember the greatness of god worship helps us to see clearly and it silences the competing voices around us so let's bow down before this great god this morning by spending few minutes of our time and be reminded that god loves us and that he is working for our benefit and be reminded that we belong to a great god and so we we make him we make him your focus treasure and delight so that your worship will be in increasing rich let's pray to god